All right, here's another really quick tip and it's on wire bending. And this is assuming that you use internal wires for your lures. Here, this is my wire diagram for my wire harness inside one of my lures called the pug. And what I wanna show you is that while you're bending these wires and you're using some sort of measured distance, it's really key, one of the key elements of bending this thing. You can bend with with needle nose, you can bend with round round conical uh, pliers. These are like for small jewelry items, that sort of thing. Or you can actually have a wire bending. This is a stepped wire bending pliers. They're called, I think they're called jeweler's pliers. I got them online for like $11. Well worth it if you're gonna do a lot of bending. So if you've already got an eye, like I do here, and you're going to go to your next bend, you can start right at that point of the bend. So you can get that bend started. Now the key here is you don't want to bend the part that's measured around your, your post. You want, to, uh, you want to bend the part that's free. This is already measured. You don't want to uh, bend it around the post because it'll use up wire and it'll shorten it. So you want to bring this around, make sure you got the angle you want, and then you're going to get, you need to get that next segment bent. Be right there, and this one is gone. You want to go ahead and align it so it's not on a skew, go ahead and get the bend in, and then again, bend the free end. Don't bend this part. Of course, here it'd be tough, but you bend the free end over, and then it bends over again up right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight across from the other bend. I'll tighten up the bends later. Okay, again, bend that over. Okay, and then the last one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that nice and even. And bend it over again. What you wanna do, make sure you bend the free end, right? And, in, and even if you're gonna offset this, this eye, so I'm gonna give it a little offset so it's nice and round. I'm gonna bring this around, the free end around. I don't wanna bend the other end because you will end up with a short, short uh, harness. And then you just, you can just cut off the other end. But that gives you the appropriate length and you can see it matches up perfectly. Uh, now it's ready to use. So when you're bending, remember, bend the free end, not the measured end. If you, if you bend the measured end, you're gonna lose that distance. Your measurement is way off. Okay, let's see if it actually fits. Perfect. Right on the money.